strawberry. No, it's not strawberry. You could use strawberries if you want it. But we're making a spinach and blueberry salad. And it's going to have a poppy seed dressing. So we'll start out with four ounces of white wine vinegar. And this time I decided to use canola oil and lemon juice. So back to the store-bought salad dressing. When you pick up a salad dressing, as I said, the first ingredient should be a recognizable oil, preferably olive oil, canola oil, or safflower oil. And then after that, all the rest of the ingredients, you should know what they are. If you don't know what they are, then they're probably chemicals. And you know, I don't know what makes Americans think that our body's designed to process chemicals. I want a zester. Well, maybe I won't have. I was going to put a little citrus zest in here. I thought it'd make a nice touch, but I don't know where my zester is, so we're going to skip it. So I'm going to put two juice of two lemon. I have my white wine vinegar. That's a nice smooth vinegar. And my juice. And then canola oil. Let's see here. And this is a sweet and sour dressing, so we'll put a little bit of sugar in. Now I'm not going to put a lot in. I'm not a big one on added sugars. But how about we'll go for two tablespoons. But even if you add your own sugar to your salad dressing, it's still a better eating choice than buying it because most of the time when you buy a salad dressing with sugar it's high fructose corn syrup that is the worst sugar there is you should avoid it at all possible cost and when you do that read your ingredients list there's not going to be very many choices left in the grocery store I'll tell you that right now okay sugar maybe whoa poppy seeds everywhere and maybe we'll put a little salt and pepper in here and all your salad dressings that you make at home, and even the pasta salad is going to taste better if you let it sit for a couple hours before you eat it. So this is really cool. Look. Today it's super sensational, simple summer salad solutions. And we are just getting ready to put all our salads together. So it's simple, sensational, super summer salad solutions. Let's get started here. We made our spinach salad. Now this is a bag baby leaf spinach. And whenever you do spinach, even if the bag says pre-washed, you wash it anyway, okay? So we're going to put some almonds in here. Now I like this salad dressed, you know, with the dressing mixed right in it. And I thought we'd put some more onions on it, in it, just a few little slivers and um, red onion I got the almonds and blueberries now this could be made with strawberries or peaches maybe the thing about blueberries that's really interesting is that blueberries are exclusive natives to North America in other words we are the only location where the blueberries occur na native originally and they are powerhouse of nutrients it's the number one anti-aging fruit or vegetable would be your blueberry low calorie I don't think we need all this and I've read that a half a cup of blueberries every day is going to give you excellent anti-aging better than any miracle cream or drug probably a little bit cheaper I know blueberries look expensive when you're buying them but probably cheaper than some of the drugs and things that people buy to ward off aging because blueberries help control free radicals in your body whoa this is going everywhere isn't it Okay, so here we have our spinach salad. 
You know, isn't that beautiful? I think I got enough spinach on the table here. Now we need to so today, now we're cooking. You can take these simple summer salad solutions home with you and impress your friends. We'll put a little more basil on here. So visit our webpage, sign up for our newsletter. You can get these recipes. My name is Deb Bixler, and this is Super Sensational Simple Summer Salad Solutions. Thanks for watching.